From Hercules Candies in East Syracuse, we're making chocolate covered cherries. Wow. When's the last time you guys made this? It was quite a while ago. <laughs> I don't even remember. Okay, that was a professional sugar. And then we're going to get the cherries right out of the jar. On top of here. And I, want, I, I do it so that the juice, they're real juicy, that way the sugar sticks to the uh, cherries. And then has a, I don't think they like uh, has a uh, snowball effect, like they get bigger and bigger. Yeah. Also, I just said they're from Niagara Falls. We actually just, like a minute ago, was talking, we were talking to... Uh, this family that came down from Ottawa. Yeah, yeah. They have a basketball tournament in Pennsylvania. They're used to the halfway point. Pretty neat. Rarest candy ever exposed? Yeah, so the reason that I wanted to do a live stream of this is because we've done multiple YouTube videos of this, um, and I know you guys like it, but I figured we've never done a live stream of it, so I might as well push things up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's live. Yep, it's live. <laughs> so if you got any questions for the candy master, I had an answer. He's here. And the boss is here, too. Better watch out. Better not pout. Because they said so. Okay. The Harley says, wow, we can see her. <laughs> Is that Charlotte Harlow with a new name? Yep. Okay, can I still call you Charlotte Harlow? <laughs> oh, well, we'll see if she answers. Okay. Uh, let's see, we got a super chat. Well, good morning from Australia. It's 3.40 a.m. here. I can't sleep. Good, like, good so morning. Like you guys are live. Good morning. <laughs> wow. Well, hopefully we can lull you, lull you to sleep. You won't be with a lullaby, I'll tell you yeah. that. Sure. And also, I very much appreciate the server chat. Thank you very much. I sound like horses stampeding the end of the year. Riding the horse. Yeah. 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 Maybe they should have done that Monty Python. Of Monty Python. Yeah. <laughs> Powder, cherry, candy. Yeah, so these are going to look like this, and then these are going to be covered again because I don't know if you guys can see any spots, but there's often some leakage of the cherry juice. Yeah, right here. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it kind of takes some time, I think, for it to come out. But we don't want that, so we cover it again in chocolate. Yep, twice. Double cup. Which is why we. This is a very rare candy bar because it's so fun to um, And you, you basically spend the entire day making these, right? Yep, yeah, all day. Okay. All day till about 9.30. There's a lot of people just writing, shake, 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 shake. <laughs> <laughs> they got to do it until they get kind of more red. Yeah. The more red shows through, then you can do it, then it's ready. Mm -hmm. If you do it before that, the chocolate, Chocolate will roll right off the sugar. It won't yeah. stick to the uh, cherries. It's very so frustrating need... if you try it. <laughs> so you need to have some of it. Pop through then. Yeah, it's got to be a little juicy on the outside. Then the chocolate sticks to it. instructor. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and then mom was a waitress. I think she said she wanted to be a baker. A baker, yeah. Yeah, so. Well, this is close anyway. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> um, but yeah, she was a waitress for a long time. Actually, while owning it, she was a waitress. Yep. While owning this company. Um, and then once YouTube picked up, um, she started making money from the orders that she could quit her second job. And then she could just focus on yeah, even then she was working seven days a week because um, the Sunday we did have off in the summer, she was waitressing. Yeah. So. 
So, like when I was growing up, you didn't really have any days off. Nope. Uh, like, uh, one Christmas, one Easter. And then after uh, New Year's, it'd be a whole stretch right till April, Easter. No days off, yeah. four months. And all, this, all at the uh, candy shop. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, she, she would, uh, you know, have the busy season for candy. And then when it was not busy season for candy, that means, okay, now I can waitress more. Yeah. So, <laughs> no matter what, she was yeah. working a lot. Yeah. Okay, we're ready. Someone says we should do booze candy. So that, as well as the uh, people have asked us to do edibles, you just need, like, a whole other license, and it's, it's really just, like, a whole other thing. Yeah, for New York State, you got to have a different kind of license. You got to actually, I have to have a liquor license, so like, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, because I know people would love for you to brew beer and sell that. Yeah, um, and you'd love to get paid to brew beer, right? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, then you need like a whole other license and stuff. So hmm. probably not. This is enough work just keeping up with this, huh? Yeah, this is this is long enough. <laughs> Good evening from Cape Town, South Africa. What time is it there? It's got to be like, well, probably maybe dinner time, a little after. South Africa, wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. I would guess like almost 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a guess. <laughs> Tequila soaked cherries would be ni nice for Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Rum. <laughs> well, I think because tequila is like a very Mexican um, drink. Yeah. But uh, in Mexico, Cinco de Mayo is not that big of a holiday. It's more more people in the U.S. celebrate it. <laughs> okay. Here goes. Jason said, hey, I made a stream. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Jason. Hmm. Someone's coming from, oh, that's uh, Dee McAllister. He was here last time. He said he's from Niagara Falls, Canada. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we've got a lot of Canadians here. Oh. There was some, a Canadian family who was in the store, and then someone's from uh, New Brunswick. Hey, yeah, where'd they say they were from? Uh, Ottawa. Ottawa, yeah. yeah. And we asked them, what, do you guys have any recommendations for things to do in Ottawa? They said, no, just keep driving. Yeah. <laughs> they said, go to Montreal or Toronto. Say something about the old basement videos. Uh, I'm sure you're glad not to hit your head anymore. I know I am. Yeah, I'm glad we're finally out of there. <laughs> I've been trying to get out of there for years. Yeah. Uh, the creative, the creativity squirrel sent another super chat. Thank you very much for that. I said Craig, you should come to Australia to visit Sticky in Sydney. They make awesome candy. I do want to do that. I haven't contacted them about that, but that is on my list of things that I would like to do. Although, uh, it is very expensive to go to Australia. <laughs> it's like, I think it's like over $2,000 just to fly there. Really? Yeah. So, it's not a cheap ticket. And it's also like an entire day of your life traveling. It's like 24 hours of plane riding. So It'd be worth it. Yeah, no, I, I definitely want to do it, but I'd have to find the time and the money to do it. So. <laughs> yeah, like uh, that girl in OKC said, uh, a trip to Australia is expensive. Don't fly! Don't fly. <laughs> what, am I going to take a ship? <laughs> take the long way. Yeah, I'll take a cruise ship there. <laughs> no, I was thinking about that. If I ever did want to do that, I would probably want to... See if I could stop in Hawaii and make it like a halfway point or something and then 
Um, see if there's like a candy maker there I can do a video with. And hmm. Maybe then go to Sydney or something. Hawaii is known for macadamia nuts, right? Yeah. Uh, and then on the way, I could also stop at like Logan's Candy or something. Yeah. Stop at, like I was looking. I mean, I because I have looked into this, but I would probably stop at uh, Logan's and then maybe someplace in Hawaii and then Sticky and then I don't know, come back. I guess. Sure. I'm trying to do these fast because yeah. it takes so long to do so many. Mm -hmm. uh, someone wants to know if we ever made any spicy chocolate. Uh, I did once, a long time ago. What, the, what spice was it? Um, it was uh, a cayenne? Yeah, ca yeah, I think it was. Yeah. I think that's a popular one to do. And it wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it myself, and maybe, yeah. maybe somebody else would like it. Hmm. Uh, so someone wants to know, would it be legal for Hercules Candy to sell booze candy? No, we can't, yeah. Yeah, I think we would need another license and then and then we could, then it would be legal, but... We need to get that first, but I don't think we're going to. <laughs> no. We got enough candy we make already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, it's going on now here. Is that of the, the UK? I think, it, I think it's today. King or is Queen it or whatever? Is it tomorrow? Yeah, the, the King, uh... Oh, I forgot his name. Charles or Philip Char yeah, or Charles, something? Charles, yeah, yeah. Some kind of British sounding name. Yep, they're all lining up waiting for him. <laughs> yep. So how big slash heavy are your bags of hard candy on the website? I think they're what, 8 ounces and 16 ounces? Yeah, 8 and 16, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, Linda says the Kentucky Derby is this weekend too. Oh yeah. I had no idea. Is, is that a horse race? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Someone watching from Northern Ireland. Oh, nice. In Seattle. I better not say that too much, or everyone's just going to be coming to where they're from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Haven't been on a live in a while. Is Craig still doing real estate? So I still own a couple houses. Uh, we just sold one of our houses because we honestly were just like spreading ourselves too thin. Uh, but this summer we'll be working on my house, uh, and not until like the end of summer, so. Uh, but whenever we do start, there will be videos about it, so don't worry. Don't. Nobody worry. <laughs> because I want to post videos about it, so it's not like I'm going to forget. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I guess technically I'm still doing real estate, still on two properties, and then we're going to be fixing up, fixing up my house, your old house. Yep. Did he coat the cherries? Yes, in confectioner sugar. See, if they turn nice and red, then you can chocolate cover them. But if they're yeah. white, if they're still white with confectioner sugar, the chocolate just rolls right off. I can see, like, all, there's juice just, like, really yeah. puddling out. Yep, that's <laughs> what it is. Yeah, that's great. The confectioner juice, like, pull the sugar out, kind of? Uh, the, the sugar or juice, turns, turns into the juice from the cherry. Yeah, it's hard to live stream and talk. Yeah. <laughs> so the longer they sit, the juicier they get. Mm. But they start getting juicy right away, actually. Mm -hmm. The last one, i got to start over again. How many times have we had to do this process today? Well, a few times. <laughs> Is that like your fourth time or something? Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, about the fourth time, yeah. Yep. When can we purchase these online? Um, Terry will be putting them on uh, probably, probably tomorrow, mm -hmm. so that'll be Saturday. Uh, Charlie Layton sent a super chat. Thank you very much for that. Any chance you guys will make a Chex Mix Bark or Cluster this summer? I have been asking for years. Chex Mix Bark. We do have a really good Chex Mix that we snack on. Yeah. But I don't I don't know if it would be good for, for chocolate. Didn't uh, Scott make that for his uh, Christmas party at home? What, Chex Mix Bark? Yeah. I don't think it was Chex Mix Bark. I thought well, it, was it was potato chip bark or some, some kind of bark. No, it was. It was? It was? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. I knew it was some kind of bark. But I, I thought it was one that we made here. Well, he, uh, well, we'll ask him it. if it was good. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it was. Salt and chocolate's good. Yeah. we got to start over now. All right. Well, so now I know exactly how long it took, because I have... We started the live stream right when you, uh... When you started. Well, how, long, how long did it take me? 16 minutes. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. <laughs> Sixteen minutes. You back from your lunch break? That's great. <laughs> You're not using those other pieces? Those no, pictures? they're too, they're all flattened out. Oh, they got too much? Yeah. Too steam out? Sometimes they just get flattened out. Mm. Do you know what causes that? They're too soft. Mm. <laughs> do you know do you know what makes them too soft? All that juice uh, that they So in. like the the, uh, the the way that they made them when they made the cherries, you mean? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it wasn't like anything that you could have done differently? No. Just no. luck of the draw? There are some ones that are kind of <laughs> squished a little bit too much. Mm. Uh, Jill Kane sent a super chat. He said, go get yourself a beer for Cinco de Mayo today, Steve. All right. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> What is your favorite type of beer? Uh, my favorite one nowadays is uh, IPAs. I like I like brown ales, porters, stouts, though. Mm -hmm. But IPA. Yeah. What do you like? <laughs> that was a joke. I don't know. One said, "Beer is a touchy subject these days." more <laughs> sugar. Just kind of eyeball it. Yeah, that's all. It's a pretty messy job. Yeah. Just gonna turn into these. Gina says, hello, Steve, a.k.a. Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> uh, Maria says, oh my god, I'm so late. Hi, Steve. Hi, Craig. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Sylvie had some very, very philosophical good words of wisdom. Oh, yeah? The best beer is the one in your hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That. <laughs> Taylor agrees too. <laughs> uh, Lisa says, hello, how are you? When are you go all going to make tiramisu and cafe Americano candy? Just wondering. Uh, what? Tiramisu. Do you know what tiramisu is? No. It's like an Italian type of cake. Oh, yeah? So we oh. probably... I don't know how I would make a candy out of that. I won't make cake, but I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, your favorite, though, is pie. Yeah, rather apple pie. Mm -hmm. Tiramisu cream. So I don't know what it really tiramisu cream would taste like. Taste like, because I thought tiramisu could taste like anything. Like you could have, like, as far as I know, I thought it was like vanilla, chocolate. You could taste it like, you know, like any sort of cake. Oh yeah, but that's that's why I'm saying, as far as I know, so I people can correct me if I hmm. have incorrect knowledge. But 
That's why I was thinking like tiramisu flavored. That's like saying cake flavored. You know, or like pie flavored. Like it, you know? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, trying to hold a conversation with me, but... Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm, th I'm thinking about what I gotta do here. I, I'm t I can't do two things at once. Welcome to my life. Yeah. Uh, Josh, and thank you for that. Hi from Scranton, PA, been watching for years. Hey, hi from Scranton. Yeah, that's like, what, three hours away? Maybe four? Come say hi. Yeah, if you hurry up, you can have a free cherry. <laughs> Just say, I'm Josh from Scranton. Where's my cherry? Yeah. See, they turn out, they start out nice and white and then they turn red. And that's when you chop a cover. So if you do them at home, you can do them in a bowl. Just like this, and just put the um, convection sugar in there, and then you can you can uh, dunk them in uh, to a bowl of chocolate too. You don't have to do it by hand like I'm doing. Mm -hmm. With uh, tempered chocolate, it's got to be 80 degrees, and then dunk them in there and put them on a wax paper or something, let them dry, and there you go. A special order request. I think you're just making these because we have the time finally. Yes, it's uh, after the holidays and we finally have a little more time to mm -hmm. spare so we can start doing things like this. And then Maria said, I bought these last time you made them and I bought four boxes. They are magical. Oh, thanks. Uh, and someone else said, My cat is sit sitting here watching me. Oh, yeah. With me. <laughs> uh, does Cooper have Friday off? He does this week. He, he's going to a concert or something. Go add yourself to the email list to be notified when the shares are available. Yep, definitely. Yep. Yeah, so if you can go to the website even though they're not available right now. You can just click email one available on the um, Chocolate Code Cherries part of the website, and then you will be the first to know when all of these are finally yeah, done and available. I'm going to keep doing it. It's only 2 o'clock. I'll be doing it until at least 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I know you're going to be talking covering about the second time by today. Yeah, I got to, after this, I probably should start covering these a second time. Okay. And then I got to switch to dark chocolate. Oh, wow. Let's see, Don Richards, and the Super Chef, thank you very much for that Super Chef. These look so good. I'm watching from Mich Michigan. I hope to visit you this summer. Oh, nice. Yeah. We'll, we'll be here. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully you're going somewhere. To us. in East Syracuse, New York. Right in the middle of the state. Yep. Not that close to New York City. Usually when they say New York, people just think to say. Yeah, it's in yeah. Upper, upper New York. Yeah. Well, the city of Syracuse is actually kind of a small city. Yeah, it is so very small. So we're not, we're not the big city. Candy goes? Uh, where we are, I we're think. Home. But if you live in Syracuse, then we're just in, uh, maybe on the other side of town. Show them the map, maybe. I can do that real quick. Cool. So, if you guys are wondering where we are, we're right where like all of these are. There's like where this blue or black one is. Well. Actually, maybe there is red one is. Sorry, I'm trying to point and look in real life, but basically like around here. Uh, but as you can tell, there's a lot of tax in the Northeast, especially because you know it's just a lot easier to to drive to when you're not that far away. And then these are all the people who have visited us from around the world. One of my favorite stories was when somebody 
uh, was coming from Saudi Arabia. He came to New York City on a business trip, and then he took uh, just a rental car from New York City up to Syracuse just to come to the candy shop, got his candy, and then went back down to New York City. That was probably one of the craziest stories, but... Uh, yeah, we are missing people from Uruguay. We don't have any from Paraguay, Bolivia, Chile. A lot of South America, really. No one, almost no one really from Africa, Asia. It's mostly Europe, a couple from New Zealand and Australia. So, you know, that person who was watching from South Africa, you could be the per first one on the map. <laughs> All right. Why aren't you shipping to Sweden? So, we do have a lot of restrictions when it comes to shipping to other countries. It depends on the country in particular. I know that a lot of Nordic countries, it, they don't really like to import anything with any sort of milk products. And then there's other countries, like I know Japan, I think you have to translate everything into Japanese before you, before you ship it in. And then there's other countries that think you need like a proper shipping label where we just have a list of ingredients. We're not a big enough company to get stuff shipped to a lab and get all the all the information. So it, it depends on the country, but uh, yeah, there's definitely some restrictions for why we can or cannot send stuff to other countries. Could I pin El Salvador if my parents are there? <laughs> well, if you're from there, otherwise I might be cheating. Because we could be, we could just put something in the Greek one. chocolate from melting. We ship with cold packs and then we also have to pick uh, like very short shipping times. Like yeah, cold packs only days. last two days though yeah. so it's got to be within and, two days or else. And Otherwise, if it's going to be really hot it will last even less time. Than yeah. That. So it's just ice packs and then um, and short shipping times. It's really. not the ice packs that cost a lot of money. It's no, just shipping it's ship is yeah. expensive. But yeah. That's the way it is. Yeah, because if, if you're going to get stuff, stuff shipped within two days, or like one day, and it's got to go across the country, it's going to be expensive. Yeah. And we also can't use USPS. Yeah, so. post office is too slow and unreliable, I hate to say it. Yeah. Uh, like if, if we were selling something that didn't really matter about the temperature, then yeah, we could. Offer a military discount. We do not. No, I'm sorry. Don't set order in the winter. Yeah, yeah, it's better that way. Yeah, because uh, you know, depending on where you live, if you don't need uh, two-day shipping and you don't need a full pack, well, then you're paying for normal shipping. I mean, in the summertime, you can get the filled ribbon and hard candy, something like that, or get a T-shirt or a sweatshirt sent to you or a hat. But that's all we can do. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, we make a very cherry cream, actually using cherries in the cream, so they taste um, just like these, actually. Mm -hmm. So we, we, made, we came up with that idea because of, uh, can't keep enough of these made mm -hmm. fast enough because they're made, all made by hand. Yeah. And we can make a lot more with a, a cornstarch press faster and more, twice, three times as much more. Yeah. So they're very, very similar in taste. So that's what we suggest when these run out, that's what I would suggest buying the very cherry creams. Yeah. And we also just make the cherry creams too, because it's put in the storage box. Right? Yeah, we have those too. Yeah. yeah. So we have chocolate covered cherries, we have very cherry creams, and then we also just have cherry creams. Yeah. And the very cherry creams come in their own box with just a bunch of other very cherries. And the cherry creams come in a box with all the other good sort of flavors that we carry here. Okay, see they're starting to get a little red now. So now we, now we can chocolate cover them. And now it's starting to get pink? Yep. Yeah, someone else was asking where we're from, and East Syracuse, New York is the answer. Catherine loves watching us make candy. Well, thanks. <laughs>
This is a messy job. Hmm. When will we be when will we be making more of the hot pepper candy? Me and my grandma wanted to order some. There is something out there, isn't there? There's the hot yeah. stuff. Yeah. The ghost pepper. I don't know. Yeah. We will eventually. But that's more of a question for Terry over there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably make it. So. Yeah, that's basically how it works here. What Taylor said. So we do make ghost pepper candy, not super often, and we do make hot stuff uh, candy. Those those are probably two of our last. Uh, requested items. Yeah. So we don't make them as much as like the super sour has been flying off the shelves, and then also the fruit and friendly. That one used to be the most popular until we started making yeah. the super sour. So we'll make, we'll probably make it at least once this summer. Mm -hmm. But we, it's it's really hard for us to have much of a schedule because yeah. a lot Can't of times, point. yeah, we can only schedule like a day or two ahead of time, and sometimes even that changes. And the reason that's so up in the air is because my mom basically just looks at the website and says, hmm, what do we need yeah. to be made I mean, today? we're trying to keep a, a, our stock balanced. Yeah. So when we're running out of something, we let it go a little bit, but then, and then we got to reproduce it. So that, that's ahead of the hot pepper, mm -hmm. hard candy, or, you know, we're just trying to keep a balance of everything on hand. And it's, it's not easy. Yeah. And yeah. then you also have to make sure that, yeah, you're making you're making a lot of candy, but then you also have to make sure that you're having enough work for the people up front to be yeah. uh, wrapping candy. Yeah. But they also have to ship candy. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes there's like an imbalance of like there's a lot of candy made and not that much wrapped, or there's no candy made and the wrappers don't really have that much work to do. Yeah, because <laughs> so sometimes when we're really busy on Mondays uh, shipping. They really can't. The candy sits there that we made over the weekend because they can't get to it because mm -hmm. they're doing shipping all day. Yeah. And so. So it's it's really hard to predict. Basically, more than like a day in advance. I'll I'll ask my mom like, what are we doing this week? And she's like, I only know what's going on tomorrow. And even that's a maybe. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, see, the sugar makes the. The chocolate roll right off, so there's a spot on there. Yeah. This is the second time I'm trying to cover it, mm. but it won't stay on there. Mm. There we go, got it this time. Someone's asking if we make any kind of sponge candy or toffee or anything like that. So we have bought sponge candy in the past. We get we have a company that makes it for us in Buffalo. I just don't have time to to do it. Yeah. And it's a, it's good, so otherwise we wouldn't sell it. Mm -hmm. And when I was in Buffalo, I was I contacted. Um, well, I think I really only contacted one company to see if I could shoot a video with them, and then they never got back to me. So I was gonna try to do a sponge candy video, um, but I was busy shooting my own real estate videos there, so that wasn't exactly top priority. Yeah. But uh, I could also reach out to another company there, and see if we could get video of. Of them doing yeah, uh, sponge right. candy because it's it's it is an interesting process. Oh yeah, it's pretty neat. It's very different than what we do too. I've, I've never actually seen it. I've seen um, Paul, a friend of ours, made the candy and he sent he gave me uh, recipes and instructions on how to make it, but I never have time to. That's mm -hmm. a all all day process and then. It's like a multi day process. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Three days or something. Yeah, you got uh, two little spots on. Yeah, see. Oh, oh there you go. Too, yeah. <laughs> yep. Did you have shaken around more or something then? No, well, yeah, it's. I think they're getting redder now. Yeah. Well, so, do you think at, so as it gets going, it's gonna get easier and easier? Yeah. But in the beginning, there, they, they just don't stick. Hmm. Could you use cho a chocolate mold to make the chocolate covered cherries? Oh yeah, you can uh, use a, a mold, make them hollow, and then put in the cherries, and then top. Yeah, you could, but those molds, we're not going to buy all those molds. I'd have to have mm -hmm. buy a whole bunch of them. Mm -hmm. So we're just doing it this way. Yeah. Maria says, are you done with real estate? So at the moment, I'm not planning on purchasing any more real estate. I still own two properties, not planning on selling them anytime soon. 
Uh, but I am planning on fixing up my own house, which is my dad's old house, the old candy shop. Um, planning on fixing that up and then selling that within like, I don't know, a year or two. And then uh, I'm not planning on buying anything new anytime soon. X Mark says, I finally cut a live stream. I normally miss them by a couple of hours. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> what happened to the ribbon candy? What do you mean? We make it. Actually, well, I could go out there very briefly, but there is a, there's music playing right next to the, um, not right next to where the ribbon candy is. Well, I'll go. We just made um, peanut butter and jelly uh, ribbon candy. It was uh, yesterday. Five different flavors. Mm -hmm. stream is laggy a bit. Well, it is a live stream, not a YouTube video, so that will happen. Uh, so this is all the hard candy that we have. Like someone was asking about hot stuff. We have the hot stuff. It's not the ghost pepper though, so for someone who likes really spicy stuff, not for you. <laughs> I does got a little bit of a kick though. Super sour. That's quite sour. It's not like Warhead sour, but it is pretty sour. And the thing that's interesting about our sour candy is that um, it just stays sour the whole time. Like we don't coat it in citric and malic acid, we mix it in. So it, stay, it stays sour the whole time. Whereas like if you get like a warhead or like most sour candy, you get through that layer of the citric and malic acid and then it's just sweet. Whereas this just stays sour and sweet the whole time. So then we just have this tropical medley, which is kind of like fruit and friendly, but more tropical flavors. And then over here we have peanut butter and jelly ribbon candy which is very good. And this is, uh, actually this has, it's interesting. This has the exact same amount of citric and malic acid as our super sour hard candy, but it tastes more sour. And we think it's because of the surface area because, you know, these are small <laughs> and this is larger. So you can have more of the sour stuff hitting your tongue all at once. So that's why, that's where working theory is at the moment. Um, this is kind of like the last of our spice flavored ribbon candy. This is the non-filled stuff. This is stuff that absolutely will not ship. The filled stuff over here, this this stuff will ship. It's like caramel filled. We also have a lot more ribbon candy over here. Got the super sour stuff, molasses, peanut butter and fluff. This this is all actually the may or may not have stuff in it. This is like either the tail end or the beginning of batches. And this is also the uh, s'mores ribbon candy. So. All different types of ribbon candy here, and on the shelf, and the hard candy. Who is in the shop today? I think we have uh, Terry and Leah out here, and then we have Taylor, there's a new girl, and Julia, and then my dad. And I think Kara, does Kara have the day off today? Yes. Okay. And then Cooper has the day off too. For the million subscriber count, you should do a chocolate YouTube play buttons. Eventually, it will. We got one of those. It'll be like it's like a golden. Remember the, the silver play button thing we got? It's a golden one. Yeah, we're kind of stuck at seven hundred. Yeah. Well, I I think I think I know why. Like the channel is a, a little bit stagnant just because. We're posting the same videos all the time because yeah. you guys make the same candy all nothing the time. Like, nothing exciting yeah. happened. <laughs> we're like when we first moved in, um, things were changing all the time. And not only were we you know, trying different recipes and ways to do things, but we were like the enrober moved an entire room and you know, we we're constantly just changing and figuring well, things out. Well, we are going to be getting uh, uh, some new equipment mm -hmm. and a uh, new batch roller for making hard candy. And, and a so hard candy like, cutter. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to put this into a kettle, uh, you so could add like a little bit of chocolate to it. Well, that's why I think it was, I think we had like 200,000 200, subscribers or so at one point, and we were getting like yeah. probably about 100,000 views yeah. a day, when yeah. we were, like when we would post a video. Yeah. Um, but that was, again, when we were just like posting different things all the time. So. Right, yeah. We were moving, we were filling in, we were buying yeah. stuff, we were setting up, we were making candy at the same time. Yeah, yeah. so that, that's hard to replicate. So, yeah. <laughs> so I, I understand why like the, the views are are down. Yeah, uh, yeah we're just doing the, 
Well, now we're just making candy most of the time. So yeah, like now we have reached boring. we've reached the destination. We we're, were getting a lot more views when we were like in the the traveling to the destination part, and now we're here. <laughs> but, but we're getting new equipment, so that'll be kind of different. Yeah, but I I very much appreciate all the people who've been here from the start, or anyone who even just started following us. Like, oh yeah, we just appreciate the support from you guys. Yeah, definitely, it's great. No, when I get done with these, then I'll start chocolate covering them for a second time. Mm. What happened to the taffy machine? Well, I still have it. Hmm. Is it in the start room? Uh, part of it is, yeah. The arms that go yeah. around, that's in there. And and do you, you guys have like a storage unit for... No, the stuff? other the other part, of the part that wraps the candy is in my garage. Mm. So, But we haven't had a chance to uh, set it up because... Uh, the people we're gonna uh, that we bought it from were gonna come over and show us how to use it, but mm -hmm. they kind of ghosted us. <laughs> Let's see, we got a super chat from someone. Um, oh, there's like words in front of her words. I can barely read that. It's not her fault. She wrote something, and now there's like words in front of her words. Hmm. It's like layered. I, I'm really sorry. That I can't read that. Hold on. Let me try to read that again. Yeah, why, why is it doing that? It says, welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy to, like, my privacy. I want to be able to read what she said. <laughs> but I think she said something like, it's not boring. These look good. I'm watching from somewhere. So, again, I'm very sorry that you, you sent a super chat and I can't read it. Hmm. Well, whoever that was, thank you. Uh, someone said, none of your videos are boring. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Funny how I heard of you guys from Kate at Last Homely Home in the UK. Love the videos. Yeah, she's got a cool channel, too. Hey, Kate Jackson. Yeah, yeah, she made videos um, mm -hmm. about how you guys uh, make your candy. Like, she was, she just tried to replicate them. Yeah, yeah. She's a really nice and She person. did a good job. Yeah. And then she's, you know, now she does other stuff on her channel, too. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. Why can't you guys broadcast live in 1080p resolution? It's kind of blurry. So right now, uh, we're just doing everything from a phone. And you get what you get. There's not a whole lot of customize, customization that you can get from, from doing it with a phone. Initially today, I actually was going to do a live stream with my laptop and like a proper camera. but. I just realized there was, there was, there was uh, other people in here too earlier today. It was just, it was going to be too much uh, as far as uh, just being cords being everywhere. Because with this, there's no cords. It's cordless, so I can move around and stuff. So there's pros and cons, but I would be much more likely to be able to do a live stream with a camera uh, and laptop when Scott is here. So we can have two people plugging stuff in, unplugging stuff, moving stuff around. But for one person, it's very difficult to do. It's got some vacation, right? Yeah, he's on vacation right now, so when he comes back... So you're stuck with Craig. Down. You're stuck with me. Ha 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 But uh, yeah, so if, if you're not having the best um, connection, try either refreshing or you can also just go to your settings and change to higher settings. Um, but yeah, I think 720 is like the highest we can do uh, when we're live streaming on here, so... We are just trying to live stream on YouTube from a phone. We don't have a, you know, professional broadcasting setup. <laughs> so. Is that so there's no like, cross contamination? Uh, yeah, it might be cherries and, and sugar, and I don't want to put it in chocolate. Yeah. I gotta change the kettle though. The water in the kettle to melt mm. it back down. It's getting too cold on me. Oh yeah. And are you switching over to dark now, or are you? No, I got to chocolate chunk cover these again now with milk chocolate. Oh okay. Oh, a puddle chopping. Yeah. So, it's, some people really like watching this. Was this how you were taught to do this a long time ago? It's just the easiest way to get it off the table. Right. But is this how you were taught to do it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yep. This is. The technique they taught you from the old country? Yeah. Is it 
just try to scrape it off when it's kind of thick like that. It's too hard. Mm -hmm. You got to break it up. So if it's thin, though, that's if it's thin, doing? you can. But yeah. I think there's probably some people watching who have never seen this. Uh, but I remember in the beginning when we first started the channel, it was like a big mystery, and people didn't know how to do it because I mean I just didn't show it at the time. <laughs> so, uh, hand covering. Uh, no, just uh, chopping, chopping the candy, the, the puddle up. Oh. Because, um, well, in the beginning, everything was a mystery because we only had a couple of videos on the channel. And, you know, you can only cover so many things per video. So over the first, like, several months, there's a lot of things that they still didn't know how we do. Yeah. But uh, now I think they know how we do everything because it's been a couple of years now. So I've done a video on pretty much everything at this point. Yeah. Someone said, how much for that bucket of melted chocolate? <laughs> Too much. Oh <laughs> yeah, <coughs> ten pounds of chocolate. Hmm. <coughs> okay, I gotta change the water, and then we'll get going. You guys been in the new space for going on five years now? Yeah, so it's been since 2018. It was August of 2018, so I think in August it'll be five years. Is it really? Yeah, in August it'll be five years. So now, most of the time that we've had the YouTube channel has been here. <coughs> so I think we only had the YouTube channel for like a year and a half at the old place. We got, yeah, <coughs> we came in 2019. Oh, it's uh, 2018. 18? Yeah. Uh, someone wants to know if we can ship to Arkansas. Uh, we can ship everywhere in the U.S. So we can't guarantee the price. <laughs> it, it depends how quickly it needs to get shipped to you, how hot it is, and it also actually depends if you live in a rural area or if you live in a populated city. Yeah, that too, right? Yeah. We ship to Canada. We do. No, this will melt down. It's getting cold, but it'll mm -hmm. melt it right down and we can start over again. Someone said, I really think you should make Buckeyes. Have Buckeyes? You, yeah, have you ever had a Buckeye? No. Uh, I think you have, actually, from the Sweet Praxis. Really? Yeah, there are the, these little peanut butter balls kind of covered in chocolate. I don't know if they're always peanut butter, if Buckeyes are always peanut butter, but the only Buckeyes I think I've ever had been peanut butter. Julia, you, you know stuff about dessert, right? Do you know if Buckeyes are always peanut butter? Yeah. All right, she said I think so, so. I'm gonna put some chocolate in here too. Okay. Top it off. Buckeyes are always peanut butter. All right, well, Kelly said that too. Okay, ready? That's a good question. Someone said, how much do we spend on chocolate? How much do we spend on chocolate? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know about how much we spend on chocolate. A lot. Yeah, because chocolate is not cheap. <laughs> no. <laughs> even if you're buying wholesale. do we sell one of the 10 pound bricks of chocolate for? We don't sell them anymore. Oh, okay, there you go. There you go. We <laughs> I know we used to. I think yeah, it was like 40 or 50 to. bucks or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. We don't sell them anymore because uh, sometimes they're hard to, we don't always, aren't able to get the chocolate we need. Mm. There's still shortages a little bit. Yeah. I don't know what's causing it, whether it's a uh, supply chain or just the company that's making it. Mm -hmm. hmm. While we're waiting for my dad, you guys just look at this 
puddle of milk chocolate. Or a bucket of milk chocolate. Uh, the peanut butter is mixed with powdered sugar, then dipped in chocolate. Huh. Have you ever made buckeyes before, Julia? Um, my family does. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever. I might have been a part of it, but. Mm -hmm. You were never a part of it? Never part of it. <laughs> oh. We've, uh, Kara's made truffles before, I think with like cream cheese and Oreos and stuff, and mm -hmm. then covered in chocolate. <coughs> How many employees do we have now? Oh, that's a good um, question. I think eight. Eight full time? I think so. Hmm. This up and we'll get going. All right. Actually, I'm going to go back to the other side where I just came from. All the chunks will melt down, and then th that will cool down the chocolate, and then I can go faster. So it's kind of like seeding, like you would for the enroper. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you have the chunks cooling it down, and then the water underneath heating it up. Yeah, see. So get Let's too see. So it's 101. But the chunks will cool it down to under under a hundred, and then once it's under a hundred, it can cool faster on the table. Mm -hmm. uh, Someone want to know if you do anything with sugar-free candy. Yes, we do. I just made uh, uh, cashews. Can I just go see where they are? Pecan. Out there? Yeah, I just made a, four kinds of clusters. Okay. All right. Mom, uh, someone wants to know about sugar-free candy. Where can I point them in the direction of where the sugar-free candy is? I just want to show them what's you available. You have a website or on the shelf? Well, I want to show them what's on the shelf, and okay. then you can let them know what's on, on the, the website. On the website, you can just type sugar-free into the search bar on the right in the middle. But here we have your dark chocolate chunks. Right here, and it's sweetened with maltitol. And we have milk chocolate chunks. Milk chocolate cashew clusters. Milk chocolate almond clusters. And dark chocolate pecan clusters. And dark chocolate cashew clusters. That is the best selection we've had for sugar free in probably three years. Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, we just got some in and got some made. So, is it not super popular? No, it's not. I mean, if we make it, they'll buy it, but it's just not at the top of our list because we'll have like a hundred requests for something yeah. else. And Four requests for this, so we do the best we can. But yeah. that's why we finally got around to making it after Easter, because uh, that's kind of how it rolls. Hmm. That's all I have to say about that. I all can't right. believe you could see me. I'm wearing camo and everything. Yeah, it's very surprising. I just saw some pants and a, and a floating head. Right, that's me. As I figured it was you. Yeah. So Charlotte Harlow, is it okay if we call her Charlotte Harlow, or did she say no? I don't remember. There's oh, too okay. many chats going on. Oh, okay. She, she just commented and said floating head. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte. She said, her, she can. Her, she can. Mm hmm What's that mean? Her, she can. That's all. That's what it says. Look. Her, she can. Okay. I don't know what that means, but yeah. she can. <laughs> okay. I'll call you Charlotte Stevens. She now. said, mean, your, she can. I think she keeps trying to write, yes, she can. I try to type <laughs> it too fast, and it happens. <laughs> oh, it happens to me. I'm all thumbs. She that's said, your, she can. <laughs> Oh, yes, she can. Yeah. Yes, she can. Yeah. I mean, being all thumbs when you're texting is probably supposed to be a good thing, but yeah, not yeah. for me. Yeah, ours is not the best, but we got a heavy-duty <laughs> little system. So, what did Terry say? Uh, she said, we have clusters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. So it's true. Hmm. Uh, how has Max been? Can he ever step in and say hi? So, uh, Max is doing well. I hung out. With, I've hung out with him many times since he stopped working here because we're still friends. Um, but I have talked to him recently because I know people ask about him, and he said that the only thing he's mo oh, really comfortable with saying that is like he's doing well, and he just wants to leave it at that. He doesn't want any other details out there. Um, 
so let's leave it at that. And then I even asked him, would he be okay with like doing a taste test of any kind of candy or anything like coming in for something like that? And he said that now that he has gone so long without being on camera, he doesn't feel very comfortable being on camera again. Because when we first started the channel, he didn't really feel very comfortable. And then he slowly got more comfortable. And now he's out of practice. And now he's just like, I, I, that sounds very unappealing to me right now. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? You don't work for us, so I'm not going to try to make my friend do that. <laughs> so I just hang out with him off camera. But just know that he's doing well. And he's still, him and his whole family still very much part of our family. Yeah. Uh, Chess says, hi, great people. Checking in from wet and cold Newfoundland, Canada. Good to hear Craig's voice again. Wow, nice. Yeah. Newfoundland, Canada? Mm-hmm. We're just happy that Max is doing well. Yeah, he's doing great. He's very happy. And yep. he's like a real-life Ron, Swan Ron Swanson. <laughs> he just doesn't want anyone to know anything. <laughs> Max is living to the max. Uh. Uh. All right, so what's the temp at? 87. Hmm. Oh, someone said, do you ever work with chocolate gold? Like the gold, the edible gold that you can put on stuff? I mean, I already know the answer. So the, yeah, that's the answer is no. no. <laughs> You're like, chocolate gold, what's that? <laughs> um, we've had, uh, what's it? There's kind of like goldish yeah, colored like spray it. chocolate you that you guys have? Yeah, like the, the spray yeah. cocoa butter. Have you ever you used like it. the... The spray gun, or did you just like spray like with, or like use the the no, brush? Just the brush. Just the brush, yeah. Yeah, so we did have a spray gun, but I think now you guys moved to a brush, right? This is yeah, like too I think problematic. It, yeah, we're having problems with it. So. There's a whole yeah. thing of colors. Yeah, yeah. It was like Julie said, we got a whole thing of colors. Yeah, we're gonna probably start replacing some of the sugar toppings here and there. Because we're trying to get some kind of a topping on them, so like when you look at them, you can tell yeah. what it is. And it's not just plain. Yeah. Uh, like the only ones that are just plain are the very cherries, uh, but they don't go into right. the, uh, yeah. the normal sort of chocolate box. Yeah, you wouldn't want to put a topping on it anyway, so it's just cherries. And yeah. I can go show them the, uh, the colors and flavors we got. We got a whole library of stuff. So this, yeah, so this is the colors that we have that we can brush onto candy. Uh, this is our a very extensive flavor library, flavoring oils. Uh, and actually growing up, sometimes since we had the candy shop in the house, sometimes my dad would make uh, like ros raspberry flavored pancakes or something. He would just come downstairs to the flavor library, pour some of the flavoring oil into the pancake mix, and then we have, you know, different flavors of pancakes and stuff. And this is also flavoring over here. We have uh, coloring that we use for the hard candy and just lots of, lots of candy stuff over here. So, um, Dad, do you remember sometimes growing up you would um, put different flavoring oils in uh, like pancakes or something? Yeah. 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 That was like your thing growing up. Like you made apple cinnamon pancakes and pizza and chili and bread. It was like your main. And yeah, when you guys staples. got off the bus when you guys were really young, I had the bread maker time so that as soon as you got off the bus, you pulled it right out of the bread maker and you guys were eating hot bread. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and you guys ate the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? In one sitting. I would probably never. So I guess you liked it. I uh, couldn't eat another bite. Because <laughs> I was too full. That is great getting that bread right out of there. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. well, see the link. They all have leaks on them now, you can see them. So mm -hmm. that's why we've got to cover them two times. Mm -hmm. uh, Linda Spicer says, happy candy making from Linda the Apron Lady. Oh, <laughs> thanks Linda. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I th think aprons are, aprons are great. That, I don't know if that's the one of the aprons. Uh, are you wearing, I think you're wearing one of the aprons, right? Yeah, it's yep. from Linda. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep, they're very nice, thank you. Mm-hmm. What do you use all that liquid smoke for? Oh, that's for uh, brittle. Uh, brittle. Yeah, yeah. The almond smoke brittle. Almond smoke smoked brittle. Smoked almond brittle? Yep. It's, um, 
it took off when he first made it, but now it's kind of slowed down. Mm -hmm. That's how a lot of the candies are. Like you, yeah. when you first make it, you can't keep it on the shelf, and then people got their their thirst quenched, and then you just make it kind of regularly. Yeah, got their fill. And yeah, and you just make it every couple months or every couple weeks, depending. Like with the fruit and friendly hard candy, though, you still have to make it every couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. And the sour, that one's kind of replaced that one. Right now, at least the sour hard candy that's like the most popular one. I take uh, this. Smoke and I put it on my uh, burgers and stuff. Oh yeah, just that like a topping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sprinkle it right on there. Because hmm. I did strong stuff, so you don't it's really great. need much. Since that a Hercules uh, Warhead candy, so I think that our war our super sour candy is actually better than Warheads. They're very different though, so I would say that when you put a Warhead in your mouth, it's much more sour than our candy, but. It doesn't take that long for you to get through the citric and malic acid coating on the warheads. So then it just tastes like candy, whereas ours tastes sour the entire time. Yeah. Until it's no longer in your mouth and it's all melted or you chewed it up or something. <laughs> but it's good and sour. And then a ribbon candy feels even more sour. Um, you uh, you were having a hard time keeping your mouth. I don't eat you? any of our sour stuff. <laughs> Too sour. The sour <laughs> never goes away. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, but can you do spice? No, I hate, <laughs> I hate spicy things. All right, well, next time we do the Carolina Reaper candy, we'll have oh, you I try. won't, I'll be absent that day. <laughs> the company wants to smell I'll be sick that day. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic waste flavored candy, perhaps? I mean, apparently, according to Julie, anything the spicy or sour here is probably is that category. Yeah. <laughs> it is really sour. Yeah. Emily said, same girl, same. <laughs> I uh, scared your way from Chex Mix. From Chex Mix? Yeah, I remember I, asked, I was like, oh, those ones are a little spicy. And, yeah. I, and she was like, oh, I'm not trying them. Here's uh, like, they're not that bad. Well, Leah also thinks the barbecue sauce is spicy, so. In ketchup. <laughs> uh, let's see. Linda says, the aprons I make are the ladies' aprons. Who, with prints on them, I do not make the aprons the men wear. Yeah, because they're they're just the uh, white ones. Yeah, the uh, ones Cooper wears. His mom signs them too. Hey, Chris. Oh yeah. Chris has got her newest one on. Huh? Oh, this is the. This one's awesome. Oh, nice. <laughs> are you talking to Linda? Oh uh, yeah, Linda Spicer. Hi, Linda. How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> I would like coconut brittle. Yeah, that sounds good. I've gone to the farmer's market. They had, uh, it was made around here. It's called uh, West African Coconut Brittle. So I've had coconut brittle. It was definitely a different style, though. Um, but it was like apparently like a West African traditional style or something. I think I might have been like Nigerian or something like that. So it's, it's different, that, or it's interesting that, you know, in Korea or Japan or Nigeria or, you know, in the U.S., like, we just all make similar things but just a little different like we're we're all making stuff with sugar but it's all just a little different yeah it's kind of cool you know different customs yeah, yeah. different spices it definitely had a different taste and texture than our brittle um and i thought the coconut was coconut was nice so they sell it not that far from here, so if they make it around here, maybe I could even see how they make it sometime or something. Yeah, that'd if be neat. are interested. Yeah. Um, and maybe they could even buy their coconut brittle, since we don't make it. <laughs> Support someone else in Syracuse. Oh, those are with one puddle. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's all one puddle? Yeah. Oh, wow. Time to leave? No, I don't think I'm going to be making the dark today. Yeah. we got to cover these yet again. Hmm. What are you supposed to do tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we're, uh, we're chocolate covering the turtles that uh, Julian made. Hmm. It'll take most of the day. Yeah. With the uh, um, dark and milk and rubbers? Yeah. Yeah. So is that what both of you guys are doing tomorrow? No. Not me. All right, you have tomorrow off? It would be Tyler and me. Oh, okay. Or maybe Kara. Okay. 
Do your clothes always smell like candy? So I guess that would be a good question for you since you're new. You, I noticed that I smell like chocolate <laughs> when I get home. No one's ever told me I smell like chocolate. No? I can, I tell I smell like chocolate, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, does it bother could me? smell like worse yeah. things. <laughs> I could smell bad. But. That's funny. And I know at the end of the day, like uh, when you guys used to make um, hard candy, like when it used to be very infrequent, if we helped you guys make anything with like candy canes or anything like that, we would just smell like peppermint. Or oh yeah, or, yeah I mean peppermint is definitely the strongest flavor. That goes right on your clothes. Yeah. My hair definitely. Will smell. Your hair, your hair will smell like peppermint after. Mm -hmm. and my cat loves it. <laughs> like I'll pick him up and he's just like in my hair. I'm like, what? Like I guess some cats love mint. Huh. I don't know. Huh. Louis does. Uh, Bonnie says, I work in an animal clinic, dot, dot, dot. I wish I smelled like chocolate when I get home. <laughs> yeah, my dog licks the cornstarch no. off my shoes. You what? My dog licks the cornstarch off my shoes. Because <laughs> I make a mess in there. Yeah. But he cleans them, so I let him do it. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps him busy. Tony says, does Steve pick things up? And put them down. Yeah. Okay. That's what you usually do after picking them up, right? Yes. Okay, in that order. Don't get it mixed up, guys. I know it can be confusing. Yeah, when you put it in the microwave, it's going to heat it up a little. How do they look? They definitely look bigger. Yeah. Got these ones, yep. and then Too these, cozy. There's these little guys. Yep. Turn into these big boys. Now, well, if they leak again, well. That's the way it's going to be. <laughs> You're not going to come to the third time? No, no. That'd be two. It wouldn't, yeah, I was going to say it wouldn't fit in a box. <laughs> but that's okay if they leak a little. Just eat it anyway. It doesn't make any difference, does it? Yeah. Get some juicy candy. Yeah. <laughs> Catherine says, hi, Steve. You work hard. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm back. Hmm. How many generations has the business been going for? No, well, you're the, you, Kara, and Leah are the fourth. Mm -hmm. So you're the third generation. I'm the third generation. Mm -hmm. I grew up doing it with my dad when I was a kid and my uncles. Mm -hmm. Catherine also says, how was your day? Good. Nice day today. Yeah, and it's supposed to be gorgeous this weekend, so I'm very excited for that. Yeah, finally, huh? Hey, you think you're going to try the pizza oven outside this uh, this week? Or? Yeah, I got, I'm, pu I'm putting it together right now, a little pizza oven. And, uh, and I'm making, I might make beer this Saturday, too. Okay. Well, if you need me to try out your pizza oven to make sure it's working properly. Yeah, yeah. I'll call you. Yeah. I'm not that far away. <laughs> That'll be fun, using the little pizza oven. Yeah. Oh. Or eating it. Someone wants to know what time zone we're in. We're in Eastern Standard. Eastern Standard Time, yeah. Yeah. So, like, right now, it's ten minutes to three. Mm -hmm. uh, so, will Craig or Kara keep the business going? Kara is the one who is being trained to take over the business. Yeah, Kara. Cool. Um, so ideally, she'll take over, and then I'll keep advertising. So I'll have the same job as I have now. <laughs> but Kara will probably own it eventually. Just me and Terry will back off a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, was there a third sibling mentioned there? And all this time, I was only aware of Craig and Kara. Yeah, Leah. so um, Leah... She was in here just a minute ago. She was she was over here talking about how barbecue sauce is spicy. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, she works here too. For a while, she was uh, in another state, and then she moved back. So then she started working here. So the whole family's here. Yep. Just not today, because Kara's got the day off. <laughs> Dustin said, nice. <laughs>
thing you and Dustin would get along. You guys are both one of many, many words. That's good. That's good. These are looking pretty good. Okay. Even if I say so myself. Hmm. What is your favorite candy to make? Um, I like making brittle and uh, ribbon candy. The brittle and ribbon candy? Yeah. Uh, filled ribbon candy? Or thin? Yeah, the filled, yeah. Yeah. Because that's more of a challenge. Mm -hmm. Kyle said, nice, bro. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> Someone said, do y'all miss being in the basement? Nope. <laughs> if you couldn't hear that because he was facing the other way, he just very emphatically said, nope. Nope. He said, was there any perks? Um, I mean, I guess it was convenient that you had, you know, all your food upstairs. So you could just go to lunch upstairs. You didn't have to bring any food here or anything. Yeah. But. Yeah. And you were... After after we closed, we were home within a uh, minute. Yeah, <laughs> you have to commute. <laughs> then you can never have snow days, though. Like, yeah. oh, geez, the roads aren't plowed. I guess I can't go to work. I know, I'm waiting for a snow day. <laughs> Probably a little bit before we can get to a snow day. <laughs> uh, someone wants to know, is white chocolate harder to work with? Uh, no, it's not harder to work with. Uh, it's just a little bit different temperature. You can use it at... Uh, just under 90 degrees instead of 80. Hmm. And if someone's working with white chocolate at home that doesn't have cocoa butter, they don't actually have to worry about uh, tempering. Yeah, the, the, a lot of white chocolate that's out there, it's called white chocolate, but it's, um, it's made with palm kernel oil, mm -hmm. which I think you can do it at almost any temperature. Yeah. But the the white chocolate that we have is made uh, of cocoa oil, no cocoa beans. Yeah. So it has essence of uh, chocolate to it, and it's it's a better chocolate. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have white chocolate, this is the better white chocolate. Yeah. Whoever was watching from Australia was able to get to sleep by now. <laughs> they, uh, they probably sleep right I, now. I don't think I got another comment from them after that. I hope we lulled them to sleep. They're snoring. Yeah. A lot of people say we put them to sleep. Yeah. I think that's a good thing. I'm not sure. They, they find it very relaxing. <laughs> what is the name of the chocolate you use? What's the name of it? It's we use uh, Chatham. Uh, they might have meant the company. From, che from Peter's. Mm -hmm. Peter's Chocolate, which is a Nestle's product, and uh, we use Chatham. Craig is very common voice. Huh, I've never heard that before. But I guess that's good. <laughs> that's why they all go to sleep. <laughs> I, I think Dad has more of a calming presence than me too. It's probably a good combination. This is the good, uh, the good sleep live stream combination. <laughs> so my mom's a little too, too rambunctious to put people to sleep. She's a hyper little thing. If you want to wake up, watch my mom. <laughs> if you want to fall asleep, maybe watch me and my dad. <laughs> she breaks walls. Yeah. So we could, me and my dad, be your nighttime watching your team, and then my mom will be the. Get up and go. She's the original pink bunny. Yeah. Energizer bunny. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows that anymore. Do you know what someone means when they say the pink bunny? 
Huh? Do you know what someone means when they say that someone's like the pink bunny? Like the energizer bunny? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like the... Okay, yeah, yeah. see? Mm-hmm. Even youngins know. I've heard that before. I don't know if that's on TV anymore. I've seen that TV. Yeah, I think that yeah. that's still their um, mascot. That's what I know it from. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Terry. <laughs> <laughs> She played that part Also, like a, a bowl in a china shop, too. Yeah, that, too. <laughs> She's also that. Or a candy maker in a candy shop. Going through walls. She's very quick. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, the name Quick Steve is actually an ironic or sarcastic name. And then it's because I'm slow. <laughs> but then everyone's like, oh, he's so fast. Well, he's not slow when it comes to candy making, but... Uh, maybe mom could explain the original Quick Steve. Maybe we can get her in here. I, I'm fast at some candy making, but yes, yeah, everything else I'm small. <laughs> you take your time. <laughs> I'll see if we can get her to come in here and tell that story. And we were talking um, about it, and then after that, he always comes in and asks running questions. Hi. Um, can you get mom oh, yeah. to come over here and tell hey, a story? Mom. I just want to yell. Oh, I just did it. Okay. okay. <laughs> Can you um, gotcha. come over here and then tell the story? Not right here because of the copyrighted music. That's oh, here I'll there. pause it. But uh, um, you can tell in in here where Dad is mm-hmm. the way he got the origin of uh, the name Quick Steve because a lot of people don't know that it's a sarcastic name. You could do it. I'm not sure how the origin was. It's well, you said it. Well, you said it in one of the videos from a long time ago. <laughs> that was when there was the fire. And then he went back into the house. Oh, no, he didn't leave the house oh, until he, he was fully dressed. <laughs> <laughs> he had on a shirt with a collar. No. He had a, yes, you did. He, I believe he also had an Izod sweater, <laughs> socks, shoes. He probably stopped to comb his hair. Um, <laughs> me, on the other hand, that's true. Not, what am I, what am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying? You are right. I, I had my bathrobe on and bare feet because mm-hmm. um, of the fire. And he got my waitress shoes because he wanted to be sure I could work. He grabbed my waitress shoes. He said, I had bare feet. Well, what's, what's the most, what's the smartest thing to get? Waitress shoes. She's going to, we're going to need to rebuild after this fire. We're going to need those tips, baby. They were in the doorway. I just grabbed them. <laughs> and then we exited into the yard. He was the best dressed person at that fire. Uh-huh. <laughs> quick Steve? I don't know. That's no. where you said that you... Uh, coined the term quick Steve. Okay, I believe you. I'm, That's what you said, like I probably six, told you the six truth. years ago. Oh, yeah, you can't expect me to remember. I can't remember yesterday. Yeah. I keep thinking today's Saturday. I don't know what day mm-hmm. it is or yeah. what happened. Anything else you need to know? Nope, that was it. I can just confirm the stuff. If you told me I said it, sure. Okay, yep. I think you said you owed me like a uh, hundred bucks. Yes, I'll put it on your desk if okay. I remember. Yeah, it might have, it might have been more actually. <laughs> yeah, but, if I remember. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See? Yeah, I think she owes you money too, doesn't she? Oh yeah, she owes you a lot of beer too, a couple buckets. I think I, that during the fire too, I brought out the change jar. Didn't want to lose that. <laughs> the change jar. <laughs> That's your retirement. <laughs> I had to grab it. Uh, all right, so I think we'll finish this tray and then we'll get out of here and. Let him get back to watching. Were you guys watching Scrubs before? Yeah, Scrubs. And then uh, before that was Mouth in the Middle? Yep. I like watching comedies. Yeah. Who does? Yeah. Uh, Tin Can said, grabbed a six pack in the change jar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the important things here. Yeah. Was it even a fire at your guy's house? Or no, it was a fire next door. Oh, okay. But it was so close that it, it, it burned the top part of our house a little oh, bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, because that, that house like really was burning. The flames were so big that uh, the windows busted out. <laughs> so water, we had water damage inside. And everything. Wow, that's interesting. You got water damage from the fire. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because of the, the, um, the, the fire hose. Cause the, yeah, because they are putting our... The, Right. Also, was only like ten. Yeah. yeah, you don't really think about that, but I got water damage from the fire. That sucks. So what? The the windows broke because yeah, the of the fire. The windows broke because of the heat. Mm-hmm. The heat was so hot. Oh wow. Busted the windows, and then the water came through, and then. 
That was that. Mm -hmm. Well, the house is still standing now because I've got neighbors, so. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even remember. Uh, I think when we were very, very little, it still looked burned, but then I don't even remember that. I just know we have pictures. It stayed that way for mm, 17, 18 years. Oh. Nobody fixed it up or did anything. Yeah. are getting a lot of East Syracuse history today. <laughs> that was the only fire I was in. <laughs> or around. <laughs> the only fire I was I'm just a machine. <laughs> yeah, so I think that there, so there's a lot of people that watch our videos and they'll like the sounds, and then I'm like, oh, they like the sounds, so I should do like one ASMR video every, you know, hundred videos. I'll do like one ASMR video, and a couple, a lot of people will like it, but then there'll be some people like, oh no, I hope this isn't the direction of the channel now. It's like, guys, <laughs> there's one video. I haven't posted an ASMR video in like over a year. I posted one video for, for the people who said that they liked the sounds, <laughs> and everyone was just like, oh, not these videos, I hate these videos. <laughs> but I, I haven't done an ASMR video in a while, so if you guys want me to post a video that some of you guys are going to hate and some of you guys are going to love, let me know what yeah. sounds you would like. You did the uh, cream beater before, right? Yeah, one, I mean, one time I did a video of just the chocolate melter for like a half an hour. Um, it was not a very exciting video, but I think I could definitely see how that could put someone to sleep, though. Just like listening to uh, the ocean or something, huh? Yeah, but a chocolate melter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can look up uh, like vacuuming sounds for like an hour. Or ten hours. Really? Or, yeah, you can look up like a fan sound. Like say you don't have a fan, but you like to usually fall asleep to a fan. Um, one sound that I've actually fallen asleep to before was um, the sound of like being inside of an airplane. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, I don't know if you're sleeping somewhere where it's a little bit loud. Sometimes it's nice to have some kind of white noise just to drown everything else out. Yeah. Most of the vegan chocolate treats seem to be sold out. Um, yeah, I haven't been able to get back to it since uh, since Easter. Yeah, I yeah, they're, they're relatively popular for the small amount that we made. <clears throat> yeah, i got to get back to it again. Mm -hmm. All right, so when we're done with this tray over here, these little ones, that might as well, we'll finish up the live stream. So then, again, he can get back to his comedies. Cool. Uh, I think you guys would probably prefer to be able to watch TV too. I think we all would. <laughs> That's one of the perks of the job. Yeah. One of the jobs you get to watch TV while you're working. <sighs> or watch Monty Python on repeat. <laughs> on repeat. Yeah. Have you seen it yet, Julia? No? <laughs> no. Uh, first time being here, so do you ever work with white chocolate? Yes. Yes, make uh, almond clusters, uh, white bars. There's a lot of barks too that we make. Barks, yeah. Kathy says, wow, finally made live stream. Well, if you got any questions, I'd ask them now, because once we're done with those cherries over there, we're going to be done with the stream. So if you guys got any questions, ask them now. What's the meaning of life? Yeah. <laughs> 
What's your favorite color? Will you be making more ribbon candy soon, or is that a seasonal treat? Oh, we just made some yesterday. Hmm. White chocolate. <laughs> it's red, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, white chocolate pretzels a possibility. So you guys used to make those. The white pretzels, yeah, we used to. But yeah. And, uh, I don't know why we don't anymore. Probably didn't sell very much. Mm. What's your favorite chocolate flavor? I don't know if they mean like white dark milk or like some, because sometimes you guys do add like some flavoring oils. Oh, well, I like milk chocolate probably the best. Mm -hmm. And then as far as like the flavored chocolates, what do you think? Uh, orange. Orange? Yeah. yeah. Orange and raspberry. Things. You guys used to do Irish cream, right? Yeah. Irish cream once. Amaretto. But nobody seems to buy it anymore. I have a very specific question. Maybe it's for someone's birthday. Uh, will there be more vegan stuff before the 21st of the month? Uh, the 21st? Today's the 5th. Today's the 5th. I can't say. I don't know. It's like two and a half weeks from now. That's more of like a Terry question. I would say email her and ask her. Yeah. I don't want to say yes and then... Yeah. We can just give you a solid. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, okay, here we go. The last one. We're just gonna do it. That's nice. Glad you guys had a good time. Yeah. Almost every one has a leak on it. Oh, yeah? On the bottom or the top. Rachel says, watching your video from the Netherlands, find them very relaxing. Oh, that's nice. Well, Dan Rapp says, finally cut a live stream, watching from London. Well, once we're done with those cherries, we're actually getting <laughs> out of here. So, hey, you can always watch this back, though. But, hey, you got to watch here uh, live for a little bit. How do I get free candy? Oh, well. <laughs> uh, well, if you give us some free money, we'll help give us some free candy. There you go. What a deal. Yeah. And the last one. There it is, leaking on the bottom. Mm. All right. Good work, Dad. Thanks. Keep it up. We're all proud of you. Okay. All right. Okay. Say bye, Dad. <laughs> Bye. I said say bye, Dad. Bye, Dad.